Hello, my name is Brandon Judson. I'm a member of Textron Aviation Team Structures. Textron Aviation occasionally receives calls from authorized service facilities and customers wanting to know how much load the wing and tail tie-down fittings can handle for the purposes of aircraft tie-down and mooring. The answer to this question can typically be found in the aircraft owner's manual for aircraft manufactured prior to 1976 and in the POH for aircraft manufactured after 1976. If the aircraft has an aircraft owner's manual, the needed information is called out in the mooring your airplane portion of the manual. Here is an example from the Cessna Model 177 owner's manual. If the aircraft has a pilot operating handbook, the needed information is called out in Section 8 under Ground Handling Tie-Down. Both the aircraft owner's manual and the POH typically advise tying sufficiently strong ropes or chains with 700-pound tensile strength to the wing and tail tie-down fittings and then securing each rope or chain to a ramp tie-down. Though this is typical, the strength of the rope or chain necessary to properly tie down an aircraft may vary for the size of aircraft model being moored. The applicable aircraft owner's manual or POH must be used for specific information. Under special circumstances where the owner operator feels damage might have occurred to the tie downs or aircraft structure, an inspection of the tie downs and supporting structure can be accomplished. If damage is found, please fill out a structural damage report with detailed findings to team structures. If you have any questions regarding this video, please give us a call at 316-517-6061. Thank you, and I hope you find this information helpful.